Hello to the nation, Nick here, talking to you guys over a little bit of a tutorial on how to live stream on YouTube. For those of you who don't know, I have a pretty successful series so far on YouTube called How to Twitch. So if you guys are a Twitch streamer and want to check out that, you guys can go check out my many tutorials on how to do overlays and the best OBS settings and best streaming softwares and how to stream with the click of a single button and all that cool stuff. So you guys can go check that out. I'll put that in the little eye in the top right hand corner and in the links in the description down below. For right now, we're starting a new series and this one is hopefully going to be going over a ton of stuff on how to stream on YouTube now with YouTube becoming a more prominent uh, thing uh, overall as well as you have you know gaming uh, or YouTube gaming where people are more and more people are going to start uh, streaming on there and whatnot so Anyway, right now we're going to be showing you guys how to stream on YouTube and how to start an event on YouTube. So those are two different things. So if you guys are used to Twitch live streams where pretty much you grab your OBS streaming software and you know within um, two minutes you paste a couple links and URLs in places and hit the start streaming button and boom you're streaming on Twitch. YouTube has that option now as well. It's called the stream now uh, option and it's in beta. So that recently came out and you guys can you know go to here, you guys can pick a thumbnail, you guys simply scroll down, boom, you have your server URL, which is going to be pasted into your encoder, and then you have a stream name slash key. So that's going to be pasted very simply. Uh, if you go to your settings, you go to your broadcast settings, and then you just simply pick uh, YouTube. So boom, you've picked YouTube, primary YouTube and just server, and then finally you pick your play path stream key, which is this guy right here that is hidden. So you guys are going to grab that, paste that in there, and then you guys set up all your stuff here, set up your thumbnail, which you actually don't get on Twitch, so it's nice that they have that here. Uh, you guys can change your description, your title. You guys can change your category. If you're in gaming, you guys will be able, just like Twitch, to be able to put a game title. And then from there, you guys can actually, uh, if you um, have a live stream, you guys can play ads, assuming you're a partnered channel. Um, you guys can create highlights, which is actually kind of cool. So I haven't really messed around with that feature. But basically, um, when something is about to happen that you guys think you want to add to a highlight, you click the Create Highlight button. It'll use that clip and put that into the final product when you're done. So that's kind of cool. You also have fan funding, so that uh, fan funding, so they've integrated donations and whatnot. And then you have your settings where you can enable uh, the chat and then uh, automatically block spam messages. You guys are going to see these options later when we're talking about the events category. So after that, you guys can go to your stream, or you have all this sort of stream health stuff and shows your viewership and all that sort of stuff. You have stream options. So in these stream options, you can enable the DVR feature and you can enable it so that it won't automatically post the archive after you're done. So that's something that you guys can do to choose to delay the archive to post so you know you basically can honor your live viewers by saying you know hey if you guys don't show up live then it'll be up the next day versus you know immediately after so it makes people more incentivized to maybe want to show up to the stream uh, so then after that you guys can optimize your stream for low latency or optimize it for less viewer buffering so the difference here is I've seen you know your mileage may vary but for me the uh, latency has been around 10 seconds when you optimize for uh, interaction or low latency and then when you optimize for uh, less viewer buffer it can go anywhere from 15 to 25 seconds so that was kind of you know more like twitch I guess um, and basically I think what that's just for is um, obviously YouTube needs a lot of time to process this so if th say they mess up and they can't you know catch up quite and they can't process your stream quickly enough then your viewers are going to uh, not be getting the frames as quickly and they'll need to start buffering and waiting on you for YouTube to send more so YouTube adds a little bit more of a delay so that they don't necessarily run into that issue. So that's kind of cool that YouTube gives you the option to pick. So for things that are time sensitive, you might want to go with the um, optimized for interaction and then for optimized for less viewer buffer uh, otherwise. And then you can add additional delay on there as well. So with monetization, you can choose to monetize your stream or not and play ads and stuff. With cards, you guys can add cards. So these cards right here are automatically added because they're my past live streams, which I haven't done too many. As you guys can see, this one was done almost three years ago. Um, but anyway, Anyway, uh, pretty much we have all of those options, and these are the uh, starting a stream now. So again, very similar to Twitch, but if you guys want to take advantage of all of YouTube's features and probably some of the coolest ones that I've seen, you guys get to go and make an event. So we're going to do that live, and we're actually going to start live streaming right now. So we're going to go, and we're going to add a new event. Now this event, we're going to make it a private event. We're going to add in a title, and this is going to be test uh, beta or vita. We're going to test beta. 
we're going to pick a time that we're going to start and we're actually going to start it in two minutes this is 11 a.m it's two minutes from now then we're going to go until you know that time i guess we're going to go blah for the description so you guys get to type whatever you want you guys get to optimize your video tags and stuff like that and then you guys get to pick quick or custom custom is the one that we want because we want to be able to use an encoder software like obs or xsplit or any of those opposed to the quick uh using google plus hangouts um up to you guys you guys can decide if you guys use the google uh hangouts there's a ton of options and things that you can still do it's it's progressed a lot but it's not necessarily the best option from there you guys are going to go to your advanced settings and just like i mentioned before you're going to see a lot of the same settings that we saw before enable and disable live chat automatically block spam messages you guys can enable it to record you guys can disable the recording uh, you guys can make it private once the event's over you guys can optimize for certain things you guys can add you know an additional delay and whatnot tons of different options that you guys have and you guys can do all of your monetization stuff here as well so after that we're going to create the event boom we've picked all the settings that we want um and dun 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 wait for it and now we're going to be given a ton of new ingestion options so now we can add a thumbnail to it if we want we're just going to leave that for now and then we get to pick what type of uh resolution we want to stream at so whether that's um you know, uh, 1080p, 720p, 480p, 360p, and 240p. You guys get to pick that, which is awesome. I really think that that's great versus the Twitch method, which is pretty much keep trying to stream at high as you can and then, you know, lower it down when, you know, your stream suffers and, you know, just dies. Uh, so I like how they actually tell you, you know, what type of uh, bit rate you need for each of these sort of things. And, and you pick now what you want your resolution to be. And then uh, it kind of just sticks with that. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, we're going to stream uh, for the sake of it at 1080p so boom we're going 1080p we're not going to go 60 fps we're just going to stick at 30 fps right now and now we're going to be given a slew of other options so we're going to be giving a stream name and a primary server and a backup server so all we need to do now and i'm hoping that this isn't a special key that you know only i have or else i'm gonna have to black it out but uh, anyway we're going to go here to the youtube settings like we had before we're going to grab that stream name and then we're going to paste it in there boom we've pasted it in there and then we're going to hit OK. So now that we've hit OK, we're actually get pretty much ready to start streaming. The next option, as you guys can see YouTube's laid out for us, is start your, sh or start your encoder. So start sending us your video stream. But this won't actually make your stream live. This is what I really like about it. So uh, you guys can also add more cameras and stuff like that if you want. So there's a main camera. Uh, if you guys have you know multiple people with multiple uh, computers that you guys all want to get each other's perspectives and stuff, you guys can do that. Uh, so that's kind of something cool that you guys can do. But but anyway, um, so we're going to save changes here, and we're actually going to start streaming. So over on OBS, we've pasted in our options. Uh, by the way, the other options that we've set up, I should tell you guys those. Uh, I will have a custom video just for talking about the YouTube streaming options. But for those of you who don't know, um, basically, you guys are going to want those options. And then the other main one that you guys are going to want is key keyframe interval of four or less guys you can't just put it at zero on twitch you just put it at zero and it sets it to automatic uh here you need it to be four three two or one or youtube is going to freak out at you so anyway that's kind of what you guys can do so anyway we're going to hit okay here and now we are going to hit the start streaming button so basically what this is going to do is now we're streaming as you guys can see we're, we're seeing sort of the output go to here and we are going to be able to go to our live control room so when we go to our live control room it's going to start um so it seems like the issue that we had is we made a second camera but we didn't actually pick anything for it so make sure uh, i guess that's a problem i've never ran into make sure if you guys do set up a second camera that you either delete it or actually use it because that seemed to be one of the issues that we have so now we're previewing our stream so when you hit play here what's actually going to happen is if we give it a second it's going to start showing us in a very low resolution mind you what the uh, stream actually looks like and this is showing us at 360p to show us with as little delay as possible so keep that in mind guys this one will only go up to 360p but if you guys were on the uh, main page it will go up to the full 1080p like it's supposed to so it's saying okay 1080p stream but anyway yeah if we hit start streaming we'd start streaming as you guys can see this is our sort of page here and the stream was supposed to start several minutes ago but uh pretty much this is about it if you guys want you guys can do your broadcast alerts you guys can have ads slate in slate out you guys can see the public view here uh if you guys check this synced preview player it'll make the preview uh, exactly what the live audience is seeing so it'll make the preview the live version uh this public view is the live version so if you don't have that checked you guys can see both at the same time you guys have your comments here and then you will also have 
have uh, your fan funding so people can donate to you as well. But uh, anyway, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment down below. I'll reply to as many comments as I can answering you guys' stuff. And if you guys have any questions or stuff that you guys want me to make uh, a video about as part of this YouTube live streaming series, make sure to comment for it down below, and I will for sure try and make those videos. But anyway, hopefully you did enjoy. I'm the Doctor, and I'm out. Bye.